Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I have a Dell Inspiron 3593 15.6 inch laptop. Uh, going to be a quick little upgrade. I am going to add more storage for the customer. I'm putting in a 2 terabyte MX500 SATA SSD. Uh, it's the Crucial. I use a lot of the Crucial and Samsung products. I like them. This, um, this person stores a lot of videos. This is actually used at a church. They got crap ton. You can see all these videos in their videos folder. So if we pop over to this PC, they do have a 500 gig NVMe SSD that we put in, I don't know, six, seven months ago. Something like that. It's a Samsung 970. Nice, fast little drive. But you can see it's getting a little on the full side. So once I put this two terabyte SSD in here, um, she's gonna start storing her videos over on that just to keep her C drive from getting so full. So I am going to simply shut off the laptop and open it up to install it. Like I said, it's going to be hopefully a quick video. Um, but it has a 10th Gen Core i5, 1035 G1 processor, standard 1366 by 768 graphics, nothing special there. But it's very fast, it does have 16 gigs of DDR4. We did add more RAM to it back when we did the NVMe drive. So assuming it's all the way off. I already removed all the screws. Um, on most of these newer Dells, the screws along the back, they pretty much stay in the laptop. When you unthread them, you just want to unthread them until they click a few times and they're kind of loose. But they're, don't try to pry them out of there. They're going to stay right in there. All right, but all these screws, except this one right here, um, is a real short little stubby screw. So you want to make sure you put the short one back in here. But all these other ones are all the same length. And again, these three will stay right in there. But I just used a number zero magnetic tip Phillips screwdriver to take out these screws. So let me flip it back over here. I'm going to start up top on the palm rest. There's a seam along the perimeter here. And I'm just going to use my plastic triangle tool. I like these because there's a little lip on them. So when you tuck it in the seam here, it's not going to go in too far. So I'll just start kind of over here, start sliding it along here. Now the hard drive caddy and cable should still be in there inside. Comes from the factory with them inside already, not in the box. Just be careful when you're poking stuff in here. Now that I got it started, I'm going to flip it back over and I'm going to start jiggling a little bit. But if it don't want to break loose, don't don't force it. You want to break anything. Get my little spudger tool here. Yeah, it's being stubborn. Back in this corner. Ah, ugh. Make sure those screws are undone all the way they should be. it up so you just want to take your time you don't want to just pry it off you don't want to break any of these little plastic screw hole thing majiggy jaggers there so here's our NVMe SSD we're gonna leave that alone over here's our mounting caddy and our cable so you've got some mounting screws put the drive in the caddy underneath this tape right here so let me get that caddy out of there again I'm using a number zero there are four screws holding the caddy in one here one here and two in the back here okay guys do this as fast as possible if you're very careful and you're staying over here you shouldn't have to disconnect your battery but if you want you can just keep your tools and screws away from the main board over here the battery is pretty simple to disconnect right here. Just pull the tape up and slide it out of the connector. But I'm just going to be careful. But if you're not sure about yourself, you're at home doing this, disconnect your battery, guys. And always protect yourself from static electricity. Our shop is anti-static. Our bench tops, our floors are all anti-static. So now I got, the, got that out of there. Caddy just comes out. And we get this tape out of here holding the cable. The cable's already attached to the motherboard, which is kind of nice, but 
not a lot of extra wiggle room here. Cable slides around over under the battery and I believe connects right over here underneath the battery cable. It's kind of hard to see, but it connects right over here. So we shouldn't have to mess with disconnecting it. Let's just get the drive and the caddy after I get these screws out. Yeah, I love how they tape these in here. <laughs> Need my screws. All right. So the drive's gonna go in the caddy just like that. In this case, the label here is facing facing up. Okay, we're just gonna hook up the cable carefully. And set it back in place and then we'll make sure I just want to make sure that cable lines up there yeah I guess that'll be right so before I, I just want to do a test dry run there guys Ugh. being very careful here All right, nothing ever goes right when I'm doing a video. So anyway, I just want to make sure cable is going to be kind of bunched. I'm going to try to see if I can slide it back underneath that battery a little bit. So anyway, I'm going to mount this in there. <clears throat> Don't be super tight, just nice and snug. Not like it's going to go anywhere. So she should have quite a bit of storage now. Store lots of videos. <clears throat> Come on, go in there nice and hard. All right. Now we're gonna mount it for real. It's kind of hard to see, guys, but I'm going to plug my cable back in. Make sure it goes in all the way. There we go. I kind of wanted to make sure I had enough cable there to slide it back underneath the battery so there's not a big loop sticking up here. Just, just like that, okay? So now I'll put my four screws back in to hold the caddy in. And again, I don't have the battery disconnected, so I'm keeping my screws up to this side and away from all this area here. Just don't touch anything. You don't have to when you're inside your computer. Nice and clean, which I like to see. It's not that old of a laptop, but I'm surprised some of these laptops I get back in here after only being six months or a year old, they're just crudded right up for whatever reason. All right, get back in there. All right, why ain't that going in the hole? It's not lining up quite right, guys, sorry. I'm loosen these a little bit. I need a little wiggle room here. All right, this one's going to be stubborn. It's not quite machined quite right. There we go. <clears throat> when you're poking tools, you can see there's speakers real close to the front edge, so you don't want to be shoving tools in and poke your speakers and other components around the perimeter. So you just got to be careful. Here's your CMOS battery way over here. Um, yeah, there's a Wi-Fi card. All right, so we got that in there. We didn't unhook the battery, so we should be fine. Just gonna put my cover back on. Everything looks good. Let me show you her. 
when you're squeezing your parts back together, don't squeeze too hard on the lid because you can actually damage your screen if you put a lot of pressure on it from the back side. Seen it done. So once I know I'm good, I'm going to go ahead and put all the screws back in. But right now, for now, I am going to put these ones in the back just so when I'm opening it, closing the lid, I think I have the back secure. Cause I'm pretty sure everything's going to be fine. Flip it back around. Go ahead and fire it up. Yeah, I, I sell crap ton of these MX500 drives, 250s, 500s, 1 terabytes, and even 2 terabytes. And of course the Samsungs as well. That glare, sorry about that guys. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just a hair here. Let you see what I'm going to do here. All right, so I'm going to go over here on the start menu. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to disk management. <clears throat> Pop this open. Here's our unallocated two terabyte drive. I'm going to initialize. Just going to set the defaults. Now, I did ask her about partitioning this into maybe two partitions. She wanted just one one partition. She didn't want more drive letters than she needed. So I'm going to right click on it, go to new simple volume. Just going to click on next. You can see that guys. Uh, I'm going to accept the defaults because I won't be partitioning it. Hit next. I have drive letter D. Hit next. And you can name it whatever you want Not here or you can do it later. We'll just call it uh, SSD storage. You can name it anything you want. I'm going to hit finish. We'll do a quick format. Boom. Close this out. So now we have our brand new two terabyte SSD here. And of course she's going to, like I said, move a lot of the videos from here or the two terabyte free up space on your C drive. So there, quick little upgrade. Hope, it was, hope the video was helpful. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button as well. That would be great. Appreciate y'all watching. Have a great day.